Budget Outlaws. My mantra has always been, there's always someone faster out there. And maybe not in this case. I'm, <laughs> we'll find out. Well, a couple of years ago, I bought a car that, would, that I thought was going to be the most outrageously fast car that I would ever own. And it's close to 500 horsepower, um, 2,500 uh, pounds, uh, maybe even a little more, and certainly more with me in it. Um, but that's like a 5 to 1 power to weight ratio. And it is quick. It's no doubt quick. So I did have to put it back together and the front end was wrecked and I redid the whole front end and repair on that. And except for painting, as you could tell. <laughs> um, but I spent some time autocrossing the last couple of years and then also uh, at least one trip down to, uh, to the drag strip. And the drag strip was the eye opener for me. Um, happy, I'm happy with the autocross. Um, it actually has plenty of power for the autocross, uh, but it, it wouldn't hurt to have a little more. Um, but the drag strip was disappointing. Now I could spend a little money and put the, a cam and maybe bigger heads or possibly uh, bigger headers, they're a little small, and get another 75 to at the most 100 horsepower. But I don't think that's going to do it for me. So, you know, I'm only going to do this maybe one more time. And so I'm doing it. I'm going all out. I'm turbocharging it. And yeah, <laughs> I got the right hat on for this one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit crazy. But it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Okay, so let's just back off a little bit and, and think about what this does. Um, I'm not going to be faster at the autocross track. Not likely with, you know, I'll turn the boost way down and it, it'll even be that hard, a handful to, to, to control. So it'll still be fun at the autocross. But the real reason for doing it is to take it to the drag strip. And I have this crazy goal that I want it to be the fastest street driven mid-engine 914 and down the drag strip. So, who knows? There's probably somebody already out there that's way faster, but even if it's not the fastest, it'll be the fastest I've ever done, and it'll be a lot of fun. So the fastest time that, that I know of, of any car that's gone down the drag strip, is right around 11.2. I think there was one other that was right close to that. Um, and 11.2 at 132 was what the previous owner set in this car, but a little beefier engine put out another, um, you know, it was, it was well over 500. So, but my times off the drag strip that I went was 12.7 at 112, and that, that's an indication to me that um, the horsepower is down. And, uh, so, in addition to the, some other things like tear, tearing down the engine and, and doing a, um, a visual check of everything to make sure it's good and get the rings and such. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to give it some boost and see what it can do. So what are my goals? Um, it's, it's a good idea to have goals when you're doing a turbo build because you can choose completely wrong as far as the turbo and just not get what you want. Well, my goals are 700 wheel horsepower and that's at 14 PSI. Um, and if you, if you watch Richard Holden's videos on, on the dynos, his, his saying is, take what you get, put 14 to it and it'll double it. So, I'm currently at 362 to the rear wheels. And uh, so that would put me over 700. Um, and certainly there's gonna be a few things that are um, gonna be a little off. And so maybe, maybe it only makes 650 or something or something. It could even make more. So 700 wheel, 
and knock two seconds off of quarter mile time. And since I'm making probably 300 more than I am now, I would be right at easily going to get two seconds in the quarter mile. And the reason for that is if you take 100 additional horsepower to most builds, um, it will get you uh, that uh, a second off of your time. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, but two seconds off a of 12.7 would get me down into the tens. And you know, if everything was optimal and maybe the boost was bumped up to uh, a little more, and it could get nines. But that's that's to be determined. Certainly, we'll start slow and, and work up to it, and and eventually it'll break, and then I'll fix it. So, would a 10 second quarter mile be a uh, record time for a 914? I don't know. Um, I haven't found anything else, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. And if it is, great. If it's not, I'll do my best. And see, you know, I'll have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, so how do I get there? What do I do to this car? How do I turbo it to, to get 700 wheel horsepower? So let's take a look. So here we, we have some, some of the, the components of this system. This is a VS Racing 7875, and it's the dual B band, so it's got a 95 or 96 AR, 0.96 AR. And um, it's supposed to put out about 900 rear horsepower at, you know, pretty much maxed out. Um, and it, who knows, that's different with everything. And the other thing is a VS Racing wastegate, 44 millimeter. And we might need two of those, so that's something that we're aware of. And the last one is a VS Racing blow-off valve. It's a 50 millimeter. And uh, probably only need one of those, but you never know. So the headers come back to, to just, just where the HP tuner sign is here. And uh, we'll take a look at it from underneath. So you can see, now that you can see where the headers are and where the muffler will go away and there'll be a little piece of pipe in there that'll come back to where the turbo is. And so the turbo will sit halfway in and halfway out of the trunk. The, the exhaust inlet will be underneath the trunk uh, floor and then the intake uh, portion of it will be above. Now the, the air filter probably would be half and half so I'll have to build some sort of a, uh, a box for it. Well, the exhaust pieces themselves will be uh, a two and a half inch stainless and a crossover from the other side will go into a, a Y pipe that'll be right about where the wastegate is sitting here. And then we'll take the wastegate and that'll um, attach just past the Y pipe. Then the exhaust going out uh, of the turbo will just be either a uh, a dump pipe for racing or cross over to the other side and it will be um, utilizing the area that used to be taken up by the uh, the muffler on the driver's side so we'll, we'll put some plumbing over there and the muffler and trying to get it somewhat reasonable for the street so on the inlet side we're going to take the 996 scoops here on the side of the fender and run the air back and currently it goes to this uh, galvanized little plug and we'll probably have to make it a little bigger because we need to be at least four inches and and then it'll feed a box that sits in this corner where the current uh, 90 degree elbow is and that's where the air filter will sit remember it's going to be sitting lower so that half of that's going to be under the tr trunk and half will be out, so I'm gonna have to build a box. So on the boost side of things, um, this this elbow is simulating where the uh, uh, air to water air intercooler is gonna be, 
and just where it sets and where it fits well, I don't know. We'll see how it looks when I get it. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to rearrange some things, and uh, um, hopefully we can get it to fit in that corner. I'd kind of like to keep the left side of the trunk open for uh, trunk stuff. It's really hard to go anywhere without being able to put a bag or something in the trunk. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at, and uh, it's it's going to be a nice little setup. Well, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next installment of the uh, the crazy turbo build, and we'll just call it 700 horsepower. But who knows what we're gonna get? Whatever it is, it's gonna be really fast. Stay tuned. <laughs>